last video, but obviously I'm filming two videos in one day and I didn't feel like changing for you. I saw this tag on uh, somebody's channel, which I will link down here if you want to go see where I saw it. And down below, I will also link the person who made the tag. But I just, I love the tag from the second I saw the title of it. So I decided, what the heck, let's do this tag. So here I bring you the fall tag. Question number one is, what's your favorite thing about autumn? Now, I know that in Venezuela we don't really have autumn, but I mean, I know what autumn is. And my favorite thing is everything. First of all, in Venezuela, it starts to cool down, which oh, it's amazing because I'm really not a hot weather person. Secondly, there's Halloween. And thirdly, my birthday is in August. August, not August, it's in autumn. My birthday is actually next month. And I don't know, I love everything, the colors, I love the fact that I can start wearing like uh, more sweaters, and I don't know, it's amazing, I love everything about autumn. It also reminds me of the Air Nomads from Avatar The Last Airbender because you know that their season is autumn. I don't know, it's perfect, I freaking love autumn. Question number two is, what books, what books on yourself remind you of going back to school? And I picked two books, and I'm sorry for the state of these books. They have been well loved. But first is uh, the Oxford the Oxford Book of Science Fiction Stories, and it just looks like that, and it has a bunch of science fiction stories. And that is because I took science fiction two years in college, and I loved it. And the second one is George Orwell's 1984, and that's because I read it quite a few times when I was in school and I love it. I love it. It's one of my favorite all-time dystopians. In fact, it is my favorite all-time dystopian. Next question is pick a book on your shelf that has something autumn-related on the cover. And I kind of went for a cop-out because I don't have anything truly autumn-related. But um, I picked this, which was a Christmas present from one of my friends when I, uh, my, one of my college friends. And it's a golden book of fairy tales, and it just has a bunch of fairy tales, and I thought that the cover looked very autumn-y. Next, I also picked The Scarecrow and His Servant, His Servant by Philip Pullman, and it's a Spanish version, but it's a hardcover, and it's so beautiful, and Scarecrow's autumn, you know, you know, Scarecrow's are autumn-y. Finally, I picked key movies and horror films, and this is also a Spanish book. I didn't realize I picked all Spanish books. Um, this is by Decide de Fes, and uh, basically, Halloween, you know, monsters, horror movies, Halloween. Question number four, what's your favorite Halloween scary horror army story? And I had to pick Dracula by Bram Stoker because vampires, that's what they're supposed to be like. Mm, just saying, just saying. And also, I had to pick anything by Edgar Allan Poe. I always reread his uh, short stories. I love all of them. And uh, I also, I went ahead and picked The Monster Monologist because if there's anything that reminds people of Halloween, it's scary stories. This didn't scare me, but I know that it's scary. I know so. His favorite horror film. And this is really hard for me to like decide because I study film and I am getting my master's by doing a dissertation on horror films, so I watch a lot of horror films. But if I absolutely had to pick, I'm going to go with the two films in my dissertation, which are The Omen and also Paranormal Activity. I also picked another two, which are Sleepy Hollow and Sinister, both amazing movies. Totally recommend them. Go watch them. If you like horror, don't watch them if you don't, because you might get really scared. Question number six, which book release are you looking forward to this autumn? It has to go with, which, with Never Fade, which is the continuation to The Darkest Minds. It'll be book two in the series. And also The Isle of Blood, which will be, ooh, which will be the final book in the Monster Monologist series. Question number seven, which film are you most looking forward to this autumn? The films that I'm most looking forward to this autumn are actually book adaptations. The first one being Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. It's being adapted to a movie and I really want to see it. I have low expectations about it because I've seen the trailers and they look like shit. If you want to sum up my feelings about this book, it's probably like I would marry it if I could. The next book to movie adaptation that is coming out in um, autumn, which I'm really excited about, is Carrie. And I guess I'm excited about it 
because I want to see what why they would remake a classic horror movie. So yeah, and by the way, for those people that say, oh, the book is not like the original movie so far, halfway through, it is exactly like the original movie. Like, exactly like it. Dialogues were taken out of the book and put into the movie. So I don't know what everybody is talking about. The third movie I'm really excited about, uh, I don't have the physical book with me, but I would be Catching Fire. I am not a super fun of, fan of the Hunger Games, but I love Jennifer Lawrence and I like I was gonna say I like seeing people getting killed, but that sounds weird. I don't like seeing people getting killed, but I don't. I like gore, okay? I like blood and guts everywhere, even though the movie had almost none of that. But I like it. I'm sorry. And the final question, question number eight, is what books are you wanting to finish this season? Now, obviously, I have a September TBR, and, and one of the books is in here. But I just want to get these books read from here till winter, and I hope that I can. The first book I have is obviously on my September TBR, and that is Inheritance. This is the Spanish version because I have the whole series in Spanish. And that is the fourth and final book of the Inheritance Cycle by Christopher Pauli. The next book that I picked to finish this autumn is the book Thief by Marika Suzak. And I actually tried picking this up once the, um, I think it was last month, yeah last month. But I don't know, I just, uh, I started reading it and I wasn't in the mood for it, so I put it down. I only got like a f couple of pages in, and I didn't want to force myself to read it because I've heard it's really good. So, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and read it probably in October. And the final book for this is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I actually was tempted to put this in my September TBR. But like I said, Inheritance, it's really long and I, you know, I, I work full time and I manage my home and I just, I don't have that what fantabulous ability that some people have to read them really fast and I don't know, but I'm really looking forward to it. I loved Rick Yancey's writing in The Monster Monologist, as many know, and yeah, I really want to get to it, so I put it as a TBR for, um, this season. Also, I just noticed this kind of does look like an autumn-y sort of thing. I'm gonna put that in my other question, but oh well. And that's it, guys. That is my fall tag thingy, my bob. And as usual, I just tag everyone that wants to do it because I don't really, like, I, I usually never tag people. And when I do, I just message them. I don't know. I, I forget people's names very easily, and I'm sorry for that. So that's it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys!